Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 28. He that revenges shall find vengeance from Yahuwah, and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. Forgive your neighbor the hurt that he has done unto you, so shall your sins also be forgiven when you pray. One man bears hatred against another, and he seeks pardon from Yahuwah. He shows no mercy to a man which is like himself, and he asks forgiveness of his own sins. If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat for a pardon, rather for pardon of his sins? Remember your end and let enmity cease. Remember corruption and death and abide in the commandments. Remember the commandments and bear no malice to your neighbor. Remember the covenant of El Elyon and wink at ignorance. Abstain from strife and you shall diminish your sins. For a furious man will kindle strife. A sinful man disquiets friends and makes debate among them that be at peace. As the matter of the fire is, so it burns, and as a man's strength is, so is his wrath. And according to his riches his anger rises, and the stronger they are which contend, the more they will be inflamed. A hasty contention kindles a fire, and a hasty fighting sheds blood. If you blow the spark, it shall burn. If you spit upon it, it shall be quenched. And both these come out of your mouth. Curse the whisperer and double-tongued, for such have destroyed many that were at peace. A backbiting tongue has disquieted many and driven them from nation to nation. Strong cities has its pulled down. Rather, strong cities has it pulled down and overthrown the houses of great men. A backbiting tongue has cast out virtuous women and deprived them of their labors. Whoso hearkens unto it shall never find rest and never dwell quietly. The stroke of the whip makes marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaks the bones. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. Well is he that is defended through the venom thereof, who has not drawn the yoke thereof, nor has been bound in her bands. For the yoke thereof is a yoke of iron, and the bands thereof are bands of brass. The death thereof is an evil death, Sheol were better than it. It shall not have rule over them that fear Elohim, neither shall they be burned with the flame thereof. Such as forsake Yahuwah shall fall into it, and it shall burn in them, and not be quenched. It shall be sent upon them as a lion, and devour them as a leopard. Look that you hedge your possession about with thorns, and bind bind up your silver and gold. And weigh your words in a balance, and make a door and bar for your mouth. Beware you slide not by it, lest you fall before him that lies in wait.